and low pulmonary vascular resistance. These two factors leads to a large drift to right shunt and there is pulmonary over circulation. This leads to congestive cardiac failure, tachypnea, poor feeding and pulmonary edema. The first initial management is you give diuretics, you reduce the after load and feed the child with nasogastric tube. But the long term pulmonary over circulation leads to progressive vascular medial hypertrophy and development of increased pulmonary vascular resistance. And this is typically happens with an high pressure high volume flow that is with VSD. But in the case of VSD, it is a low pressure but an high volume flow. It is very common with VSD but slightly less common with atrial septal defect. Now you are creating a band in the mid segment of MPA. You increase the subpulmonic ventricular afterload. You increase the right ventricular afterload. By increasing this afterload, the right ventricular pressure goes up thereby the left to right shunt comes down and there is a decrease in pulmonary blood flow via a physical restriction. So, by creating a band, you decrease the pulmonary blood flow and another important thing which helps in the output is you decrease the left to right shunt also. So, both ways it is beneficial. By doing this, you protect the pulmonary vasculature from being exposed to high pressure and it attenuates the deleterious remodeling. This reduction in shunt volume will increase the systemic cardiac output and your blood pressure goes up. Sometimes in mixing lesion where there is a mixture of systemic and pulmonary artery blood flow, you do a PA band, the patient may not tolerate. In that case, you have to do something to improve the mixing. Either you do a surgical septectomy or a balloon septostomy of the atrial septum. So, what happens? There is increased pulmonary artery blood flow which increases the right ventricular wall stress. The right ventricle is enlarged and pushes the septum towards the left. This is what happening. Then you create a PA band. Here by creating a PA band, you reduce your LV preload and improve your diastole. I will explain in the Winkessel effect how it improves the diastolic blood flow and later you have enhanced biventricular function. This happens at the macroscopic level. In the microscopic level, in the initial in RV wall stress, there is extracellular matrix architecture deformation. Then there is mechanosensic apparatus activation. Once you pace the PO band, there is modulation of proliferative pathways and there is finally cardiomyocyte hypertrophy and hyperplasia which helps in enhanced biventricular function. So, these are all microscopic effect and this is macroscopic effect.